the Quran Lee app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. I'm on a celebrity run at the moment. Mashallah, a lot of stories coming forward of celebrities talking about their relationship with Allah. Mashallah, brother! Either through their words or through their actions. And today is nothing less. You guys have probably heard of somebody called French Montana. So French Montana is a very famous rapper. And I'm sure you're aware that the rapping industry is known to be profane, ostentatious and quite damaging. Not only for the rapper themselves, but for the people consuming their content. And of course, if you're part of an industry for a long period, I guess through osmosis, it seeps into your body and it becomes a part of you. If you're hanging around somebody who smokes, even if you don't smoke, you leave that gathering smelling of smoke. So. French Montana, despite all of this, is what he said on his Instagram post. Two years ago, this same day, I was in ICU fighting for my life. Loss of memory, lost friends, lost hope, almost lost it all. And when I was down, I found out all I had was Allah. He picked me up and gave me a second chance. While I was trying to bounce back, they counted me out and forgot everything we did. And then he goes on to promote his new album, ironically. But I wanted to just pick apart just three things that I think we can take from this. How many of us, unfortunately, have fallen in this trap of writing people off that they are not going to reform? Or that person right there, mate, no chance, no chance whatsoever. He is finished. Yeah. But as long as somebody has breath in their body, we know from copious. Yeah, a large amount of hadith where Allah says even if your bad deeds were to pile up to the heavens, He will still forgive you if you ask. So don't let any Imam, don't let any preacher, don't let your parents tell you otherwise. Unfortunately, when something bad happens and it's very big, people take that and make it a part of you. But Life is not that moment. So don't fall into this trap and lose hope and just go on committing more and more sins. You yeah. have a very good example of Mr. Montana, who even him, despite the industry that he's in, I won't defend it one bit. Yeah. But the fact that, mashallah, he's still turning towards his creator shows there is some hope. Number two, why do we need things to go wrong for us to reform? Of course, that's one of the reasons things go wrong because unfortunately, it's through those things that we start introspecting and reflecting. But consider this quote, the sign of an intelligent person is one who learns from his mistake. But the sign of a wise person is somebody who learns from the mistakes of others. So don't be a person that has to wait for something to happen to him or herself. Be somebody who's able to see other people in trials and be like, dang, I don't want that to happen to me. And finally guys, everything has an expiry date from food to relationships to human beings. Everything is going to perish. That's right. So it does not make sense for you to attach your hope on temporary things that are going to leave you and not only leave you, but leave you heartbroken also. So it makes sense to attach your hopes to the eternal one, the great one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For He will never leave your sight. Whether you're in prison, whether you're outside on the streets, or whether you're at home under your comfortable blanket, no matter where you are, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can be reached. Yes, the signal never goes down and it goes direct up and it's free. And no, you don't have to go through anybody. Direct one-way connection. Raise your hand. Even now, if you're going through something, raise your hand. Mr. Montana did it. Yes, he did it when he was down and he said himself, people considered him out. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helped him. Somebody like him, open sinner. But we know Allah accepted the dua of even shaitan. 
Yes, shaitan made a dua that he be given leave till the day of judgment so he can mislead the people. And we know even if a non-Muslim who is oppressed makes dua against a believer, Allah will accept even his dua. He's a disbeliever mate. Yeah. So what about you? You have La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. You're telling me I'm not good enough mate. Wait, astaghfirullah, what's going on? Let's leave it there guys. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.